Hello and welcome back to Blaine Man Studios, where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. If you've seen some of my recent videos, you know about my setup, where I play my Windows-only video games in a VM running on Linux. It sounds like a lot of you are doing something similar, or at least maybe you think that sounds interesting. Today I'm going to show you one slick trick that is only available to VM gamers. Well, it's not exclusive to gamers, but that's just the use case to show you that these aren't toy VMs, but performance powerhouses that can handle anything your hardware can. The trick is encrypted, incremental, full operating system backups of your gaming VMs while they're running. Let's break down what that means. Encrypted means you need the password to be able to get to the backed up data. Incremental means if you back up the same computer twice, the second time only what's changed is copied. Full operating system is the really fun part. There are a lot of reasons why you might want to back up your entire operating system. Maybe it took you a long time to get your system set up just the way you like it, or maybe you installed some software that would be really difficult to install again. Whatever the reason, it's usually a difficult, a difficult thing to do. To copy everything, you need to get everything to stop changing for as long as it takes to do the backup. Usually the way to do this is to turn off your computer, boot to a different operating system, and then make a copy of the one that's now inactive. But with VMs we have a trick called snapshotting that lets us freeze everything in place and continue using the computer at the same time. Okay, so let's use my system as an example. This is Fedora, the Linux distribution running my host operating system. I have this Windows 10 VM running inside of this computer. And as you can see, this Windows 10 install thinks it has access to a hard drive. But really, that hard drive is a file living on this computer. And specifically, it's this QCOW2 file. So what I can do is I can run this command and take a snapshot of that file. And what that does is it freezes that file in place and creates another file next to it, the snapshot file. And so when the guest operating system needs to write anything, instead of writing it directly to that file, it's going to write to this snapshot file. And then when it needs to read something, it will check to see if it was recently written to that snapshot file. And if it wasn't, it will then read it from the original QCOW2 file, which is now frozen in place, unchanging and read only. So that allows us to copy that now frozen QCOW2 file to a backup while the VM is still running. It's a pretty clever solution. Okay, so it's not that important that I can make backups while the computer is running, but I just think it's really cool because if the backup takes a while, I don't need to stop using my computer or playing my games or whatever I'm doing. Okay, so now I just want to copy that QCOW2 file to my external hard drive, which I already have plugged in and mounted. I could copy it like I would any other file, but instead I'm going to use Borg, which is a free and open source tool for backing things up. Previously, I'd created a Borg repository using this command, which ensures that my backups will be encrypted and any other settings I want to have applied to them. Now, to back up the file, I'm just going to run this command, and it will copy only what's needed. Borg automatically knows how to encrypt your data and deduplicate it, and thus only creating, only copying what's changed. It's pretty cool. And with this running, just to prove a point, I'm going to play some games. Okay, so the game is launching, and I'm going to create a little notepad for myself that says playing some games. And then let's drag this onto the screen where we will see it from the host. And sure enough, there it is in the virtual monitor, and we can see backing up. Uh, I guess 18 gigabytes have been checked but only not have been transferred because of deduplication and board. I'm trying it again. I'm backing up my computer while it's playing video games. Because it's going to watch this one. <laughs> it, I, it's uh, potentially for a YouTube video I'm making. Last time, I borked my computer in the process. This time I'm doing it a little bit differently. We're going to see if it works. Fair enough. I need to do more efforts on going too high. Ah! You could say that. Probably should have spawned as a medic. Our guy's freaking mean. Oh, I'm on the medic, baby. I'm already on this, Steven. I got you. Oh, okay. You got, we got one in our spot, then I'm happy. I put the medic off a couple of them. We could also be artillery boys again. We might need to. Oh, jeez. This is violent. They need us on the artillery squad. There, there's one open gun. There's two full guns, one open gun.
Great, now that that's complete, I'm ready to unmount and unplug my external hard drive. But as they say, you don't actually have backups unless you've tested restoring from them. So really quick, I'm going to extract that backup to some spare space on my hard drive, clone my VM and point it to the extracted backup and fire it up and make sure everything works. So I'm going to really quick time lapse through that. Okay, perfect. Now with that out of the way, now I can unplug my external hard drive and know I've successfully made a backup of my operating system while it was running. Pretty cool stuff. The next step is to commit the snapshot. And basically that's the process of syncing the changes from the snapshot file back into the original QCOW2 file. And when that's complete, I can then delete the snapshot file. I have a little bit of a funny warning here. I almost thought I messed things up the first time I did this, so I'm going to put that story in the comments and you can check it out if you're curious. And that's it. I successfully backed up my gaming VM while it was running. Not that bad. So uh, next steps from here would probably be setting this up so it happens automatically when I plug in my external hard drive. Uh, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments. And other than that, thanks for watching and stay bland.